enjoy the content, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me talk to you a little bit about what we look for. First thing is going to be character. Normally when you think of character, you're thinking of honesty and integrity. That's going to be a given. Uh, what we look for that makes up our organization is people that are impeccable with their word. Um, I worked in corporate America before I started here, and I'll tell you what, nothing frustrated me more than people who are unreliable, undependable. We want to have a culture of people in our deal that are ultra-reliable, ultra-dependable, almost like, like back in the day where your word was your bond. That's what we want. We want people with high levels of character because you know that you can accomplish big things when you have that. Next thing is competence. Uh, we do a lot of training. Training to us is not an event. Uh, I can tell you that a lot of times people will decommit in a relationship. People will decommit in sports. People will decommit in business if they don't feel like they're progressing. And so what we want to do is we want to create a culture to where people are always fe always feel like they are moving forward, they're progressing, and we have to continue to develop that skill set development, not only so they can progress in business, but then also in life as well. Uh, chemistry. We have a lot of athletes at our organization. Not that you need to be an athlete, but when I talk about athletes, I'm talking about people that played high school, collegiate athletics. Um, they come in with this mindset of wanting to win. They're super ambitious. They got a ton of drive. As an athlete myself, nothing demotivated me more than having to like hang it up and then all of a sudden you go into corporate America and you're told to like slow down. You're making other people look bad. I don't want to do that. I want to be me, right? And so I want to be a part of a culture that embraces that and allows me to, of course, bring that competitiveness and that drive to the workplace. Next thing is going to be confidence. Um, I think confidence come from, comes from the skin that you've been blessed with, blessed in, but then also the training that we provide. I think one of the things that makes our company so unique is that we, we don't look, we don't do any cold calling or prospecting, knocking on doors, going to see family, going to see friends. We don't do any of that. So take a big deep breath. Okay. What we do is we actually talk to clients that actually request to be seen, which makes it completely different, right? And so in addition to that, we also want to talk about commitment. You know, commitment is really tested in um, you know, times of disagreement. Commitment is tested in times of uh, adversity or challenges or whatever it is. I want to know that if, like, let's say you and I are going into battle, that like we're committed to you know, looking out for one another. Commitment is so important right, in business and in life. We want to make sure that the people that work in our organization – they're like redwood trees out in California where like the, the roots are so tight that it's so hard for the redwood tree to fall. So let me talk to you a little bit about competitiveness as well. You can probably get a sense of that. Uh, our uh, company, just to kind of give you an idea, our agency out of the 90 agencies that make up the company, uh, we're in category one. Category one is the like MBA of all categories uh, in the organization, in the company. Uh, and so we compete against uh, big time markets. We're talking about California and New York and Florida. And guess what? We dominate year after year. Uh, and so that's the cool thing is that little old Ohio and Kentucky, and now we're taking our leadership team, our competitiveness and our training, and we are expanding uh, all across the United States, which is great.